Hello and welcome on this new late week analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So as we can see, my friends, uh, many of the signals which I have sent here last midweek analysis video are not actually running well, and that's the reason for making this video. We have to see what now, uh, what we can do next in the market in the remaining days of this week. And as usual, let's now begin with the Euro USD. So now for the Euro USD. What we can see right here, my friends, is that the market has actually reached the sell level multiple times, number one, number two, and number three currently. And as you can see, the market has reversed for about uh, 65 pips uh, in profit before uh, goes back to the entry and again went back in about 42 pips before again goes back to the entry. So meaning the market has already fallen to that support level multiple times. Eventually, what we have ended up with is a real level of a support right here exactly at 1.0714. This was of course a real level of the support. We can see right here that the market has indeed respected that level of a support. Then we had here the odd, the fake breakout. And now we have here uh, the second attempt of the support. The market has indeed respected that level, which means that the Euro USD actually has a potential for the growth at the moment. I think that most likely the Euro USD is actually gonna continue the rise till it reach that level of a resistance trend line. That being said, we have to get right now, uh, uh, we have to get rid of the old signal. Let me just delete it right now. And let's see now where exactly we can start buying this pair. So first of all, we need to, we need to confirm first the uh, support trend lines and to confirm uh, that on the daily chart, just to make sure that we are actually on the right track. Therefore, we can see right here that we are, we are having here a support trend line, as we can see. And now it seems like the market is indeed respecting that level of a support trend line. And pay attention, that level of a support trend line was previously also a strong key resistance level, which has actually been broken out from. And right now the market is indeed retesting that level and creating a new support. That being said, we have to consider right now buying this pair. As you can see right here, the daily candle is still actually, uh, it still has about 12 hours for the closure, but so far it's actually a strong bullish candle. Not only that, but even the price action right here. Once we see that, uh, this price action appeared uh, on a daily candle on a support level, that reverse hammer usually indicates for a continuation in the momentum. So that being said, I believe that most likely the Euro USD is indeed going to continue the rise and most likely the target eventually going to be right here, the strong key resistance level exactly at 1.09138. So after determining the take profit level, let's now go back to the four hour time frame so we can identify where exactly we can start buying the Euro USD. Now let's keep in mind that we're actually right now facing a resistance at 1.07720. And on the left side, we're having here a very strong key support level exactly at 1.07272. Now, keep in mind that if the market is going to be able to make a pullback right here, it's going to fall again and it reach the, that level of a support trend line. And also it's going to be reaching that level of a support level right there at exactly 1.07272. That being said, let's wait for the Euro USD to fall for about 31 pips before we can start buying it. And the target, of course, I want to give a realistic target. The realistic target, in my opinion, gonna be right here. The nearest is strong key support level to our entry at 1.08490, which means we're actually aiming approximately 124 pips. Meanwhile, the safe zone will be ranging just till... Um, somehow a little bit below that level of a support right here at 1.06828 which means uh the safe zone is ranging for about 43 pips against 121 pips of profit moving now to the pound usd so as you can see uh the pound usd my friends actually was running in profit for a uh, few few pips actually it went in total of 80 pips of profit before before it reversed back to the entry and now exceeds this uh, level of the safe zone so it actually reversed just like 22 or 23 pips far away from the entry i'm not sure if any one of you have taken this signal but i really hope that you guys have actually did that anyway let's see now what we can do next with the pound usd now moving to the daily chart now on the daily chart, we are seeing here something very similar to the Euro USD. Right there exactly. We are having actually, my friends, a real level of the support. And pay attention, it was a very strong key support level right here and a real level of a support as well at 1.1989. 1 
Now recently we can see that the market has indeed respected that level of the support. That means that the market right now is going to continue the rise till it reach that level of the resistance right here at 1.23660. Now of course we have to be sure that this is where the level that the market is heading to. Now that can be seen of course by looking at this support trend line just like that. Now pay attention that we're having here a support trend line and the market has made here the bearish break out from it and right here right now the market has reversed exactly on the real level of the support and right now is going toward that level of resistance and most likely is going to be retesting the broken level of a support trend line it can actually be seen if i just squeeze the chart like this and now you can confirm how it really looks like therefore the target eventually gonna be right here when the market rise again to retest the broken level of a support trend line which means the market still has about 250 pips more to go so the question is where exactly we can start buying the pound usd now moving back to the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame we just have to identify the real level of a support and that can be seen exactly right there fantastic yes Right here, my friends, at 1.21007, check at the left side. Right there, we can see that the market has indeed formed here a real level of the support. It was, of course, a real level of the resistance, a real level of the support, real level of the support, real level of the support. So as we can see, 1.21007 is a very strong level and cannot be simply ignored. And we can also confirm this by looking at the trend lines. So what I'm going to do is simply draw another support trend line and that is of course my friends what we call the magic of trend lines so what you will do is simply draw a resistance trend line from this lower high to this higher high just like that now what you will do next is simply drag the very same support trend line and place it right here at the nearest support trend line or the broken resistance trend line it's really up to you and as we can see right here this was of course a broken level of a resistance trend line this was of course the bullish breakout candle from that resistance trend line and therefore we can now expect from the market to fall again retesting the same level to create a new support trend line number one and from that point we can start buying the pound usd after it fall for about 30 pips i would say and the target is gonna be placed just right there at the nearest strong key resistance level to our entry right here this was the real level of the resistance at 1.22438 which means we're actually aiming to make approximately 144 pips profit from this signal meanwhile the safe zone is going to be ranging just a little bit below that level of a real support right here which was of course a real support right there as well at 1.20352 which means uh, the safe zone is ranging for about 64 pips against 142 pips of profit moving now to the AUD USD all right so of course the US the AUD USD signal unfortunately it didn't work at all it just kept rising and exceeding the safe zone unfortunately guys i'm really uh, apologizing about the signal and we will do the best i can of course i will do the best i can to recover any losses happened because of the signal now moving to the daily chart now keep in mind that we still have only two candles two more candles actually you know what no one candle more we are having because today is thursday so we're having this current candle and one more candle so we just have to predict the direction of the next candle now pay attention right here we're having a pattern of head and one shoulder and most likely we will end up with another shoulder right here so eventually this week is going to be closed for the AUD USD as a head and shoulders patterns so most likely the AUD USD is going to continue the rise and the AUD USD has a potential to rise for about 100 pips more to go so that being said and by the way of course if we look carefully right here we're having also a support trend line which has been break on, uh, broken out from just like that so as we can see this was the broken level of a support trend line and that was the bearish break out from it and therefore the AUD USD is most likely going to continue the rise to complete the pattern of the head and shoulders and also to retest the broken level of a support trend line so therefore let's now move to the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame actually you know let, um, let's just move to the um one hour time frame yeah the reason i moved to the one hour time frame is i really want to see the strongest support and resistance levels now pay attention right here exactly right there 
that was my friends a real level of a support as you can see it was a real level of a real uh, sorry a real level of a resistance and a strong key resistance level of course as 0.69490 if we scroll to the left side we can confirm that this was indeed the real level of the support multiple times then we had right here in the middle one and two fake breakouts it was also a real level of the resistance that being said most likely we can start buying the AUD USD after it fall for about 21 pips more to go and also we're having here that support trend line as you can see so the, the market is actually rising and it's just continue climbing its way most likely it's gonna bounce on that level of a support trend line and respecting also the uh, real level of the support right there exactly at 0 0.69491 that being said uh, the take profit level is going to be about 115 pips of profit meanwhile the same zone is going to be ranging just a little bit till this level of a support right here at 0 0.69041 um, because we are actually buying the AUD USD exactly on that level of a support trend line and if the market is going to be able to reach that level that means that this setup is no more valid because we have actually been relying on that level of a real support and that support trend line and if the market made the bearish break out from it, then it means that it's most, most likely not valid anymore. That being said, the same zone is ranging for about 44 pips against 115 pips of profit. Let's now move to the USD CAD. Now for the USD CAD, as you can see, my friends, the market actually reversed for a few pips, I think for about 52 pips before falls back and exceeds the safe zone. Therefore, this signal is just disqualified right now. Let's see now what we can do next with this pair. Now pay attention. The first thing that we can see right here is that level of a real resistance exactly at 1.34585. The market, my friends, has actually been respecting that level of a resistance one, two, three, and four times. Therefore, that level of a resistance is really strong, and the USDK seems like it's actually keeping the pressure on the market on that level of a resistance. Now, the price action right here shows us a strong bearish reversal. That being said, the USDK has only one place to go, which is the down. Now, let's just oh, the bottom, of course let's now move to the daily chart just to confirm where the market is going to be uh, continue going to and where is exactly our target is going to be placed at now pay attention right there we're having that support trend line so being actually having here a support trend line indicates that the usd cad after failing to break out from that level of a resistance it's most likely going to continue the fall to reach that level of a support trend line and after that we are not sure how the market will react to that level if it's going to continue bouncing up or going to break out uh, from that level we really don't care as long as we are going with the market and going to trade the few more pips left to go till the market reach that support trend line and also that support level right there exactly at 1.33190 therefore we have determined our take profit level already now moving back to the actually one hour time frame we have to be sure where exactly we can place our sell order to to, uh, to identify that what we will do right now is simply draw a resistance trend line just like that like this and the rest of course as you know guys is going to be dragging the same line which i have drawn here to place it right there at the nearest resistance trend line check this out right here we're having that resistance trend line and a fake breakout and then another fake breakout so most likely after two attempts of a fake breakout that level of a resistance right there resistance trend line is most likely going to be respected again and also we can see that on the left side we're having here this real level of a strong key resistance level exactly at let me just be sure exactly at right there 1.34255 that's going to be the level where we can start shorting the USD CAD after it rises for about 17 pips and the take profit level is going to be placed after 106 pips more to go. Meanwhile, the safe zone is going to be ranging till the absolute highest level of the resistance at 1.34578. Let's now move to the USD GPY. <clears throat> of course, the USD GPY signal actually, my friends, was running in about... Um, 130 pips of profit before the market gives up upon the pressure from the resistance right here at 132.763 and now falls back breaking out from the uh, sell level and right now it's ranging inside of the safe zone that being said this setup is no more valid now what can we expect next from the USDJPY? 
moving to the daily chart to see the price action that we had recently now look at that this price action right here is really interesting that candle of um monday i think or tuesday tuesday sorry yeah thursday for when this is yeah tuesday and now as you can see right here that candle my friends usually indicates for a bearish reversal once we see this candle it's usually the sign that the market is actually going to continue the fall um i i said that's actually many times this is example right here for that candle once we see actually a breakout candle consists of actually a small wick at the top and a little bit longer tail at the bottom if it was a bearish breakout candle if it was a red candle usually it indicates for a continuation in the fall and that can be seen right here the next candle was indeed red uh, another example um i'm trying to find one right here if i'm lucky enough to find one um we need a good example this one here for example yeah this is the one that is the candle i'm talking about and as we can see the next candle was actually red so without long story now we can see that the candle has appeared it has been followed later with a blue candle but the next candle is actually red confirming the pressure from the sellers and confirming of course the pressure from that resistance trend line as we can see most likely the market is gonna continue the fall that being said now based on the four hour time frame Pay attention, right there exactly, we are having the real level of the resistance at 131.530. In the middle, of course, we had this fake breakout. However, this was indeed the real level of the resistance, and eventually the market has actually been respecting that level. Indicates that the USGPY is still going to continue the fall. The question is where exactly we can start shorting it. Moving to the one hour time frame. Now on the one hour time frame, what we can see right here, my friends, actually um, a triangle, just like this. This was, of course, the triangle. If I can just make sure it's drawn correctly, just like that. So now what we will wa be waiting for is the retest. We have to wait for the retest to occur right there exactly. Let me just be accurate as much as possible. Right there. Perfect. Exactly. At 131.375. That's going to be the level where we can actually expect from the market to rise again, retesting the broken level of the triangle or that support trend line uh, after that bearish candle, uh, actually after the bearish movement right here. And also on the left side, we're having that level of a strong key resistance level exactly at 131.375. So that being said, that's going to be the best level to start shorting the USGPY. And for the take profit level, of course, it's going to be placed just right there. One second, guys, I need to move to the four hour time frame to see that. Yeah, exactly. Now on the one hour time frame, and since actually we are trading, trading for just one day more, that, that support level right here, it's going to be our take profit level. As you can see, it was the real level of the support. It was also the nearest resistance to the entry. That being said, that is the uh, amount of pips that we're actually going to aiming for. That means the USGPY still has about 100 pips more to go, but eventually we're going to be aiming approximately 150 pips of profit. Meanwhile, the safe zone will be ranging just till this level, this level of resistance at 132.032, which means uh, the safe zone is ranging for about 65 pips against 150 pips of profit. Let's now check the USCCHF. Okay, so of course the UCCHF signal is not working any, lo any longer. Uh, let me now check what we can do, my friends, and let's now get rid of the old signal. Now, moving to the daily chart. Now, on the daily chart, we can see right here, my friends, that we had actually had a real level of the support exactly right there, to be honest. Right there, just to be sure. Yes, right there at 0 0.90848. And most likely the UCCHF is going to continue the fall till it reach that level of the support before it makes any further movements or actually bullish reversals. Now that can be actually a scene right here after the market has actually made multiple attempts to break out from that level of resistance and also the appearance of that candle right here, the reverse hammer, which also confirms the bearish reversal. So that level of resistance has actually confirmed to be a strong level at 0 0.92650, uh, sorry, 50. So uh, we have actually determined the take profit level, but let's see now what we can do or we, where exactly we can start shorting the UCCHF. Now, keep in mind that we're actually facing right here a support level exactly at 0 0.91675. And so far, the UCCHF is actually reversing upon the pressure from that real level of a support. So therefore, the market is most likely going to continue the rise till it reached the absolute highest level of the resistance right here exactly 
at 0.92174 and after that it's gonna create the resistance number two since we are having right here also a resistance number one and also on the left side we can see that this was of course the nearest real level of resistance it was of course also a real level of the support for multiple times that being said let's wait for the UCCHF to rise for about 33 pips more to go before we can start shorting it and the take profit level I'm going to choose a realistic level which is going to be absolutely right here at that support at 0 0.91256 uh, which means uh, we will actually be aiming about 92 pips sorry 92 pips of profit from the signal and the safe zone that should not actually be ranging higher than this level of a resistance right here at 0 0.92681 which means uh, the safe zone is ranging for about 50 pips against 93 pips of profit let's now look at the gold all right so the, for the gold my friends i'm still going to maintain a sell order for the gold i still believe that the gold is going to continue the fall now the question is where exactly we can start shorting it i want to move to the daily chart now on the daily chart i want to highlight that the edge of the safe zone is actually marking the real level of the resistance which was previously a real level of the support that being said most likely now the gold is actually going to continue the rise till it reach that level of a resistance it's actually the highest level of the resistance that the market actually might uh, might be able to reach to but we need more confirmation about about that that is not enough actually to convince anyone to start shorting the gold now pay attention that we're having here also a resistance trend line and also we're having right here that level of the, um, the resistance trend line right here and it also became a support trend line for multiple attempts then finally we had here the bearish breakout that being said it's most likely true that the gold is going to continue the rise it's going to reach our level where we want to sell the gold and also it's going to be respecting that level of a resistance trend line before the market finally shoots down so therefore most likely that's going to be the level where we can start shorting the gold at the absolute highest level of the resistance right here exactly check this out that is the level at 1891.94 so i'm going to adjust the signal to be exactly one second uh let me just make sure uh, just look at the left yeah it should be just the edge of the safe zone i mean what we're going to do is just yeah just like that and change the edge of the safe zone to be just like this and the cell is going to be now changed to be at 1891.94 uh, and the take profit level of course has to be more realistic and um, achievable level that being said the safe zone is going to be right here exactly at the absolute lowest high lowest level of the support at 1861.02 which means uh, we will actually be aiming about 300 pips of profit against 183 pips for the safe zone and there goes the signal my friends for the uh, uh, for today and tomorrow of course and uh, for the uh, usd pairs and for the gold hopefully this time is going to be very profitable and hopefully you will enjoy uh, these signals and hopefully of course i uh, will have a good weekend so until then my friends i hope that is informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching